Hello, my beautiful Capricorn souls, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to your reading. We are looking at messages from your soul. So Capricorn, I do invite you, if you enjoy this reading, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what other readings you'd like to see, and feel free to watch any other major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other signs or titles that you feel called to at this time. So let's go ahead and get into this, Capricorn, and see what messages your soul has for you at this time for Capricorn. Oh, we have wisdom coming out for you. I love that, Capricorn. So there is um, some sort of understanding, some sort of acknowledgement, some sort of knowledge, wisdom coming in for you, uh, Capricorn, where for some of you guys, this could be something that you're moving towards. For some of you, your soul wants you to know that this is kind of um, it's, it's coming through here almost as if like the things that you experienced or maybe that you've been thinking about a lot lately or that you've been analyzing a lot lately, um, in your past all happened in order for you to gain some sort of wisdom from the experience that you are going to be needing moving forward from this reading. I hope that makes sense for you. Let's go ahead and pull... Another card here for you. Some of you guys, there is like ancestor energy here as well. Wow, we have the shadow coming out. Um, so Capricorn, maybe some of you guys have been living in your shadow energy or have been recently kind of analyzing when you were living in your shadow energy and gaining some sort of information or knowledge from that. For some of you, you may have kind of been living in a way where you thought the shadow was like a negative thing or didn't have anything to teach you or something that you were meant to kind of control or contain and maybe you're coming into a point in your life and your soul wants you to know that like you're going to be working with your shadow. Your shadow has wisdom to offer. Your shadow has energy to offer to situations moving forward. And there's a need to kind of embrace that kind of like as an ally here instead of as something that hurts you or causes like negative things to happen in your life. Um, interesting so there's an essence of like learning from the darkness here capricorn let's go ahead and pull another card you just heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger so um I feel like there's something here for Capricorn that your soul wants you to know that even though the things that you experienced were very, very difficult, they happened for a reason. Even if you don't know what that reason is currently, there's a need for you to know that they happened for a reason. Wow. Um, so we have the heart guardian coming out here with love and let yourself be loved. So Capricorn, this could definitely have had to do with relationships, like learning how to love, learning what love is. Um, and you guys may have experienced a lot of kind of heartbreak, a lot of kind of relationship cycles that maybe didn't even make sense to you as you were experiencing them. Um, but I really feel for you here at Capricorn, there's something about allowing your heart to be open even though maybe now you see kind of shadow energies either within yourself or within somebody else. So there's something here about acceptance of a whole, accepting yourself as a whole, accepting somebody else as a whole, really learning how to accept the dark and the light instead of just looking for the good in people or just looking for the darkness in people. Interesting. 
also Capricorn, there's something here where maybe you're learning how to forgive. Some situations in your past or some people from your past that maybe you've held on to a lot of anger, resentment, bitterness towards. So there is something here kind of like bringing the shadow to light. Bringing something into acceptance, into forgiveness, into healing, into love. So healing of the heart, Capricorn. We have, wow, we have the water spirit coming in with manifesting dreams. So some of you guys have learned how to manifest light, how to manifest dreams, how to manifest love because you're beginning to understand what wasn't love, even if you thought it was. I hope that makes sense for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the bear spirit with healing. So there is a lot of kind of healing beneath the surface happening here for Capricorn, a lot of healing of the heart space, healing of old emotional kind of wounds or patterns, uh, letting go of any anger or resentment that you may be holding on to in regards to a past person or a past relationship. Um, so you guys are learning a lot about love and about healing because of the process that you are currently going through. And this is going to really help you manifest love in the future or come into the energy of love in the future, Capricorn. Um, a lot of you guys may also be having like some activations within your third eye, within your kind of spiritual talents. Um, and you may be having like some dreams that are very significant for you at this time, but there's a strong sense of kind of enhancement in your high priestess energy and in your kind of psychic gifts happening here as well. Some of you guys, this could be in regards to empathic abilities for sure being activated. Let's get some tarot for Capricorn and go a little deeper into what it is that your soul wants to say to you for Capricorn. We have the seven of coins. Yeah, this has been a very long, a long time coming, a very long cycle, a very long... period in your life that I feel like is closing. We have look at this, the priestess, high priestess energy coming out right underneath the manifesting dreams. There's for sure activations happening within your high priestess energy. Learning how to trust yourself. And again, like with this shadow energy, like I was saying, like really learning how to see both the light and the darkness in each other. So Capricorn, I feel like you guys may be learning how to navigate energies that maybe you shied away from before, like really learning how to read energy, learning how to read people, learning how to interpret the messages that you're receiving from not only your higher self, but from your shadow as well, especially in regards to what they say about other people other relationships. Interesting. And then we have the two of coins coming out. Um, and this card has been quite prominent in a lot of readings lately. Capricorn. And this here says a Lannister always pays his debts. Um, with the two of coins, this is always like whatever you put out comes back to you. And like cause and effect, actions and their consequences. Um, as well as I am kind of seeing this for you guys, Capricorn, as kind of this opposing energy. 
and how things come back to you. So a lot of the times we don't recognize our own reflection. We don't recognize the energies that are being reflected back to us that we are initially kind of projecting into the world because they come back to us in kind of an opposite manner, Capricorn. When we put something out into the universe, when we put some sort of energy out into the universe, it's always brought back to us. But most of the time it's brought back to us in an opposing manner, in a way that we don't recognize and in a way that we can easily blame the other person or blame external forces for what is happening. Um, so there's something here that your soul kind of really wants you to recognize and to learn how your energy reflects back to you from the people around you from your environment from external sources and try to find how to trace that back to you how to find the source of these energies and how you're creating your reality capricorn instead of maybe blaming external forces for certain things that have happened or certain things that you experience interesting i hope that makes sense for you Let's see here. Let's get some clarification. Why is the Seven of Coins here for Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Coins here? We have the Six of Coins. There's a strong sense of clearing karmic energy here. For Capricorn, by recognizing kind of It's almost like something is coming full circle here, Capricorn. Something is coming full circle that's that's bringing in balance where you recognize how you were the source of this experience. Like you initiated or activated this experience even though the entire experience you didn't recognize or understand how or what the source of this experience was. Like it's come full circle now where you're recognizing and maybe taking responsibility for the role that you played and that's going to be balancing some karmic energies for you. Because it's very easy for us uh, Capricorn to blame other people or to be angry or bitter or resentful or even kind of vengeful or wanting revenge from other people when they hurt us but it's very difficult for us to be like well I put myself in that position even though there was a part of me that recognized that knew that things could turn out kind of uh, detrimental for me or in a negative or toxic way for me but I didn't understand how those messages were coming through and maybe you misinterpreted the shadows messages to you about this kind of temptation or about this experience about this person about this situation and maybe you took it as well I feel something when I meet when I met this person I felt something or when I'm with this person I feel a way that I don't normally feel so that must be a good thing when in reality what you're learning now is that is how your shadow communicates to you about kind of some lower vibrational energies that you are encountering that you are connecting with um, interesting Capricorn so you guys are really learning about the shadow really learning about your own shadow and how it communicates with you how it connects with you instead of just kind of um, what it hides from you or what you don't see so you're seeing the shadow in a new light here and it's becoming an ally it's becoming a friend it's becoming something that helps you see in the darkness Capricorn Wow we have the chariot coming out on the priestess so there's some very major movement within your high priestess energy very there's a lot of nurturing to your shadow and to your high priestess energy here to your kind of internal senses there's a lot of nurturing a lot of growth a lot of expansion a lot of understanding happening here um, for Capricorn in regards to your divine feminine, in regards to your psychic gifts and abilities, in regards to your shadow. That's really the strongest message I'm seeing here from your soul, Capricorn, is that you are really learning what your shadow is and how your shadow is indeed a part of you and communicates with you and really has your best interest at heart at heart here, Capricorn. It's just a matter of 
learning how to understand, learning how to interpret, learning how to read that reflection. So you guys may be diving pretty deep into yourself, into your healing here um, at the time that you're watching this, or very soon you will be. Um, and you're going to be learning how to really manifest in a very powerful way, how to maneuver, how to move through life in a way that there, it's almost like there's nothing that's going to be hidden from you because not only do you have your higher self and your high priestess energy but you have your shadow that navigates you through the parts of life that you can't see clearly in wow capricorn why is the two of coins here so there's really a big big energy here of learning how to kind of read that reflection if you will and then we have the devil which is capricorn energy which is kind of this karmic clearing energy you guys are releasing yourself from the chains of almost of the chains of temptation here like really learning how your your understanding of what your shadow is has kept you restricted has kept you in um, a position where you maybe project or you place blame or you live in a victim mentality in some way, shape, or form. Um, you guys are really breaking free from that and you're no longer going to be kind of living in that energy, so you're no longer going to be experiencing that energy. So a big karmic clearing here for uh, Capricorn and really learning how to embrace the shadow, nurture the shadow, and heal the shadow in a way that helps you progress in life instead of in a way that keeps you held back. Wow, so freaking powerful, Capricorn. I absolutely love this. This is a big, big accomplishment, and you guys should be so proud of yourself for the healing that you've done. Let's go ahead here and pull you a couple last messages, Capricorn, a couple last messages. Any last guidance, advice, or actions you should be taking that your soul wants you to know at this time for Capricorn? Okay. Um, so for some of you guys, there is a message coming in here with this devil and this two of pentacles. Um, when I was talking about like things coming full circle and really being able to take responsibility for the initiation of certain karmic cycles and things like that. I feel for a lot of you guys, this has to do with temptation. Any temptation that you kind of projected into this world and then maybe blamed the other person or the kind of receiving end of that temptation for why you got hurt or why things happened the way they did like that's something that's coming in here that maybe you need to maybe recognize for some of you guys this could be about the way you entered into relationships or how you kind of connected to people in some way shape or form coming to light trying to teach you how you maybe initiated some sort of cycle interesting Let's go ahead here, Capricorn, and take a look at these cards. Our first one here, this is the image. Um, very kind of feminine, divine feminine energy, kind of divine feminine healing coming in here for Capricorn. We have generosity. You can afford to be generous with the gift of your time and attention. Um, and I see that here with the Six of Coins as well. So Capricorn, you can afford to give your time and attention. And the more you give... Um, of these types of energies, the more will come back to you, okay? Um, that's a big message here from your soul for you guys. Like, the more what you put out will come back to you, okay? Um, and then our final card here, the message here is success. Enjoying your life and the unfolding of your creative abilities as much as possible is real success. So there's some unfolding, there is some closure some abundance some success happening um very very big success i feel very big manifestation even for capricorn coming in with this closure of this cycle for you and this enlightenment and understanding of your own shadow this acceptance and embracing of your own shadow here for capricorn which is very very beautiful so major 
kind of understanding and lessons learned in regards to how to work with your shadow. So like a new level of healing for Capricorn, which I absolutely love. But this is what I'm seeing for you. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you're a beautiful Capricorn soul and any other readings that you may like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.